team this season. So good on them. Ah, um, and, ah God. They just what? stranded a runner at third. <laughs> and uh, leadoff guy gets on and Buxton sacrifice bunts him and what? What is this? The sixth inning? Yeah. In the third inning, Buxton hit one four hundred feet. Why are you bunting? God <laughs> damn it. Uh I, this is it's you never know bunt. You ever. know it's summer when we get Lonnie pissed off about bunting. Don't ever bunt. Uh, um, I do have a question. So Lonnie, when you mentioned two of the young players coming, and I'm a, I don't know their farm system that well, but I'm assuming you're talking about uh Lewis and is it Kirillov? Yep, Alex Kirillov. Yep. So I've seen some of uh, the experts think both of them could end up, although they think Kirillov might end up at first, but they're thinking Lewis is might be more of an outfielder. I, if he was an outfielder, who's coming out? Because those yeah. three are both extremely good in the outfield and with their hitting. Agreed. I had I had heard of Kirillov possibly going to first base. I have not heard of Lewis going to the outfield for quite a while. In fact, uh, the reports that I've heard lately have been glowing reports of his defense and a possible penchant for him to stay at shortstop. Cause that, oh, that's great, because that would be ideal for us. Yeah. yeah do it, it could stay there. What is going on here? It's, it's memorial. Memorial Day, Game One of the Stanley Cup Finals is on, and I'm watching the Twins and the Brewers instead. <laughs> and we're discussing about why the Twins have too many prospects and no <laughs> places for them at the major league level. I don't even know us anymore. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, I mean, and, and and isn't that the genius of this roster this season? Is you've got the Scopes and the Crones and whatever, but aren't they both on one year contracts? I believe so. And I think scope is definitely viewed as kind of the bridge between uh, Royce Lewis coming up next year and then sliding Polanco from short to second base. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I mean, who knows? You know, you, you got to kind of let the season play out and, and then make those decisions, right? Yeah. Um, I did notice that the Twins unveiled a new Joe Maurer sweet at the stadium uh where and the 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 copy was something like you can you can watch the game where joe and his family watched so many games at target field and 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 the uh, the menu items for that for the food services for that suite uh the the, the menu item jokes sort of write themselves what do you think about that i mean <laughs> bilateral chicken leg weak, weakness and, <laughs> all like all that good stuff um well uh, really fun. And okay, so the last thing I have for the Twins, unless you guys have anything else, is I thought it was awesome to see them cut ticket prices when things were going well. And then even more awesome to see the locals respond and have been now selling out the building tonight, notwithstanding because of the rain in the evening at the end of the Memorial Day weekend, I would assume. But uh, that that showed, I thought, great sort of sort of fan awareness by the by the team. And then, obviously, awesome that the fans, the locals, responded and um, and are supporting the team. But it really all comes down to winning, right? I mean, you know, I mean, if they if they cut tickets and the team wasn't doing well, I can't imagine they would have sold out, right? The last couple of games and and, and things like that. Or there, you know, there, there is a buzz, but it's not because tickets are cheap; it's because the team's playing well. So it really just comes down to winning when all is said and done. One hundred percent, and I mean that. This, we've been saying it forever. This town is starving for a winner. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And they're an easy team to like, right? I mean, there there doesn't seem to be, like what you used to say about the Vikings a couple of seasons ago, Lonnie, there doesn't seem to be a high jerk factor on this team at all. Yeah. The, uh, the, the, the knucklehead factor seems to be fairly well in line here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, good on the twins. Um, uh, okay, so I don't even know what the score. I, I, I mean, truly, I don't. Uh, word the, the Cup final started tonight as we record here Monday night, Memorial Day Monday. 
I I could really not be less interested in this final. Is, is either of you pumped up about it? No, I could care less. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, if I had to lean one way, I, I would definitely lean towards St. Louis, and that's probably more more from the standpoint of them being the lesser of the two evils. But I do like one thing that I have to give St. Louis credit for when they had the awful missed hand pass go against them against San Jose. Um, you know, they kind of, they had their initial reaction about it and then they didn't cry about it and they just went out and kicked San Jose's ass the rest of the series. So I, I like it from that standpoint instead of, you know, hearing the town criers like, uh, like Vegas did when, when they got their perceived slight against the sharks. Okay. You open the door, Mr. Referee. <laughs> So we're going to go through it. All right. We're going to walk through the door. Um, the Vegas call, the hand pass call. Um, I'll get, I'll give you, I'll give you, you know, sort of opening shots here because you're the honest official among us. Um, just go ahead. Open platform. What, what, what are your thoughts on the significant gaffes that we've seen this playoffs? How much of that do the refs need to own? And how much and, and, and what does it do is from your perspective as an on ice official as far as opening the door to greater uh, uh, w- a wider swath for instant replay in, in the NHL? Well, replay is here to stay and it's it's not going away. So um, I think one of the I think. The, the buzz phrase that I've heard is unintended consequences um, that has arisen as a result of replay is, I mean, a, the game is so fast, and I think there's now a false expectation out there that the game should all be called perfectly, and I think that's just impossible. And I'm not just saying that to be an apologist for the referees. But it is so fast, and things happen so quickly. Now, as it relates to the Pavelski thing, first off, has anybody ever seen somebody bleeding out the top of their helmet the way <laughs> Pavelski was? Not Good the- God. I've, I've watched <laughs> 10 million hockey games in my lifetime and have never seen somebody bleed out the top of their bucket like that. It was just ridiculous. <laughs> Have you yeah. guys seen that? No, oh unless God. I'm trying to remember the video from the Clint Malarchuk fiasco, and if the if any of the spray went upward, and that oh. might have come out come out the top of his head as well. But no, I mean that was <laughs> it was insane. Okay, so it, from my experience, when something when you're on the ice and something horrible like that happens in your game, I, I think it's human nature whether you. You know, if you didn't, if you weren't 100% sure of what you saw and something that horrific takes place on your ice, it is human nature to react and make some sort of a call, which, you know, I'm not saying it's justification or anything like that, but right or wrong, you got to go with something. Um, I'm a little surprised that the linesman in actually in both of those instances, I'm a little surprised the linesmen weren't able to help out. Um, and it would have been interesting to hear what the conversation was in the case of both of those plays. Um, because it's, it's really, it's gotta be, you know, you can't be 75%, 80% sure that you saw something. You gotta be 100% sure. So, yeah, I mean, they they definitely have to be better for sure. Um, but I think we also do have to come to the realization that it's impossible to call a perfect game, and maybe the maybe we need to get back to the what what I believe to bring it back to the unintended consequences. 
I, it's my contention that replay was first brought in to miss the egregious, obvious situations that just can't be missed. And if you have the technology, use it and right the wrong. Okay, so Mike, I do want to get your thoughts in there, but let me jump in first because, and and let me start by saying here that that my preference would be to go less replay than more replay because I do like the faster game, and if you the more you expand replay, the more you're going to slow down the actual experience of the game. Right? I mean, the gameplay will still be fast, but between the you know, there'll be more whistles and, and more stoppages, and that'll slow things down. And I don't like that. Uh, I, I'm I'm willing to accept the human element and go back to just bitching about a missed call, right? As opposed to destroying the flow of a game to uh, to look at it from for three minutes and get you know whatever all that's I'm willing to do that, but I realize I'm in the minority there, and I agree with you that replay isn't going away. Um, but I think with that, so if we go down the road of more replay, though, then I as a I think that my human nature as a as a referee would be to not want to make a call and then have it get overturned on replay because I made the wrong call. Because what you don't want it because then once you go down that road, now you may as well don't not have the refs. Because if you're just going to undermine the refs by saying whatever you called, you know what I mean? Like I'm just not going to make a call, and you can the, the video can tell you whether or not what the call should be. I would agree with that, and this is I have. I haven't completely thought it through, but here is my proposal for NHL replay going forward. I would propose that you can still have the challenges for offsides and goalie interference. You can still have the coaches' challenges. My thought is instead of a four-man crew, you introduce a five-man crew, and that fifth official is he's either in the arena or he's in Toronto, wherever. And that the fifth official is the replay official. And if it comes down to, uh, I can't remember. It was earlier in the playoffs. Was it Landis cock that was uh, called for being offsides by, I don't know, because he yeah just lifted the tip of yeah. the skate off the ice, whatever. Is one of those doofuses, yeah. So I don't think replay was designed for that purpose. Um, so I, that's where I would propose the fifth official to be the replay official. And I would propose that it be an active on-ice referee who would look at that and say, okay, by the letter of the law, was it offsides? Yes. Did it have any relevance to the play whatsoever? And did the offending team gain any sort of competitive advantage? No, then we're not flagging it. Well, but so why not? Uh, I, I want to get to Mike, but why not give that that off fifth rep, fifth official st- so somewhere, you know, so put them in the penalty box or the in the officials box or something like that? Why not give them a quote unquote whistle though? I mean, if they're if no, they, if they, oh no, no, no. But no, if, no. if they've got the ability to to make the right call. You know what I mean? I mean they, they couldn't do offside because that's what the you know that's what the linesmen do. But but give them if they're an orange if they're an orange armband, then why not give them the the ability to stop play in the same scenario? Because then it's so. Does that extend to? I mean, I, I think there's too many judgment calls for that to for that to be realistic. Well, but why is it realistic for the two guys on the ice, though? I mean, if it's it's still a judgment call. All right, wait. Let's go to Mike. Mike, what's the verdict here? I I don't really know how to deal with replay. I mean, to me, it's a double edged sword. It the more you have of it, yes, maybe the more absolutely correct calls you eventually get, but you're also yes, yeah, slowing down the game. Uh, they're going to come out with new replay now. My guess is, I mean, I haven't heard what it's going to be. Maybe like every major penalty is now reviewable. Make sure it was for sure a major. 
I do 